Here, I'm gonna show you how to automatically delete every Excel workbook that has expired or met whatever criteria you need it to meet before it's automatically deleted. And we're going to go through an entire directory of workbooks automatically in this tutorial. And it works like this. Here's our directory, and we have some files. Some of them meet the criteria for deletion. We go into our main workbook right here, click Clean Directory, and in just a few moments, it will have gone through here and deleted all the files that met our criteria. And even though here we're going to be dealing with dates, so if the file is considered to be expired or not, what I'm going to show you here will work for checking pretty much any criteria that you want. You're only going to have to change a few lines of code. And if you want to learn even more than I show in this tutorial, if you want to save yourself hours of time every week in Excel, check out my full VBA course that will take you from beginner and intermediate all the way to expert level. With over 200 tutorials, 200 downloadable Excel reference files and guides, and over 50 hours of content. The goal of that course is to give you the tools that you need to automate all of your tasks and save yourself hours and hours of time. And I put a link to that course below this video, so go ahead and check that out. But now, here in this tutorial, let me show you just a small fraction of the things that you'll be able to do once you've learned how to use a VBA. The very first thing that you need to do before we even get to any programming is to figure out what pattern you want to use to determine if you're going to delete a file or not. So let us open up one of these files. The pattern that I'm using here is quite simple. We go to the control worksheet, that's the name of it, and then we look for a cell that has been named kill date. And what this allows us to do is in our macro, reference the control worksheet and the kill date named range reference. That way, it doesn't matter where this cell is. So if you have control over the workbooks that are going to be deleted, make your life much easier. Give the cell that you're going to use a name. That way, you don't have to reference A7 or B4. Trust me, it makes your life much easier to do it this way. And if you say, hey, this is going to mess up my workbook, don't worry about it. Go ahead and hide this worksheet. Protect it. Make it Excel sheet very hidden or hide the column here. Just hide what you're going to use for the criteria. But once you've figured out how you're going to access your criteria, then we can go back to the other workbook and begin to program it. So hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window and go to Insert and Module. And uh, let's make ourselves a little macro. Delete expired files. And let's make a versatile, robust little setup that's going to be easy for us to change in the future. For this, we're going to make a few variables. Let's go file directory as a string. Then let's go file file name as string file to open as a workbook so we can go through the file before we delete it and kill date as date. Now let us set up file directory control space to fill that variable name in and this is going to be the directory that we want to go through. For me that is c backslash test backslash files to delete. And when you delete files, be very, very, very careful. They're not going to the recycle bin. So it can be very difficult to retrieve a file that we delete using this method. Next up, let's get the name of the very first file in this directory. File name equals, and we're going to use the dir or directory function. And all we have to give it is where we want to look, which is file directory. And this is the first part of the magic for this tutorial. This is going to, right here, it's going to go right in this directory and get us the first file that matches the criteria. In this case, we're going to go through every file here. But you could build this out to only go through certain types of files or files that have this name or begin with this letter. You can do all sorts of really interesting things that we're going to leave out of this tutorial so we can keep it nice and succinct. So the next thing is, how do we get the next files? Well, we use a nice little do-while loop do while len 
So the length, the number of characters that are in the file name variable is greater than zero and loop. But this doesn't work quite yet. We need to get the next file. So to do that, we reference a file name again and the dir function again. And uh, this little setup right here, these four lines of code, this goes through every file in a directory. That's the base template for doing that. It is that easy. And then when we are in here inside of the loop, all we have to do is to reference file name and then combine it with file directory to access that file and do whatever we want with it. And what do we want to do here? We want to open it up and see if it meets the criteria for deletion. So let's go ahead and set file to open, which is a workbook variable, to all workbooks.open. And what do we need? The directory and the name. So file directory are right there. And file name. And what do we want from this guy? The kill date. Should we kill it or not? So the kill date equals file to open. And then we have the worksheets, which is going to be control. And then the range, which is going to be kill a date. And let's go ahead and pop that value on the end there. Now, for the most part, this is going to get you a date and it's going to work correctly. But let's just make sure that we get a date. We're going to use the see date function and put it around there, see if it returns a date. It's basically going to just try and turn whatever we feed it into a date. So the rest of our code will be nice and happy. And at this point, we have everything that we need in order to check this. So we could run all of our code to check it right here. Or what I'm going to do, since I've gotten everything that I want from this file, is close it. So file to open, dot close, and false so that we don't save any changes that may have been made to it. And then let's just check the kill date. If kill date is, how about, less than today, then end if. And if we get here, we delete the file. Very simple. Just kill and the full file name path directory and extension. So let's go for file directory and file name. And that is pretty much it. But let's go ahead and throw an else on it. So if we get here, file should not be deleted. And I'm going to build this out like this with an if else just because Maybe you do want to do something down here. Maybe if you're not going to delete the file, you do want to mark it in some way or change it in some way. So if that is the case, you wouldn't want to close it right here. What you would want to do is to do something here and then close it in this else. But if you do that, make sure that you also include this line of code right here before you delete the file because you must close it before you can delete it. So you see, you can do a lot of stuff here with this a very simple template. And you can download this entire template, by the way, from my website. Just go to the link below this video for the downloadable file, and you can get it there. But now let's go ahead and change this up just a little bit. So a date is going to return today's date. That means that if the date in the file is before today's date, then we are going to delete it. But how about we make it a bit more versatile? And we're going to go if kill date is less than let's use the date serial function and you see here we have three arguments year month day very difficult for us to mess up even if we go between different countries so how about we say 2022 and we can go april and how about 15 then and we are good to go so if the date is before april 15th 2022 then we delete it. And uh, let me just tidy this guy up because we are pretty much finished with what we are going to do here. Just one more thing. So uh, since we are going to be opening a lot of workbooks and closing them, let's go ahead and turn off screen updating. It'll make it a lot faster and it'll make it so it looks a lot better. So we don't have to see the workbooks always opening and closing. So application.screenUpdating equals false and copy that put it down here and set it back to true at the end and that is it for this tutorial 
It is uh, that simple to go through a directory, check all of the files in it, and then delete the ones that meet your criteria. And here is your criteria check, so just change it as you need to change it in order to check for whatever you want to check for. And if you want to learn how to expand this example even more, or just how to become an expert in VBA so that you can automate your tasks and save yourself hours of time, then I highly recommend you check out my full VBA course that'll take you from beginner to intermediate to expert and advanced level. And even if you aren't a beginner in VBA, there's still going to be a lot there for you, especially all of those downloadable reference files, over 200 of them, where you can just copy and paste your code into any new project in order to get a head start on it. So with that course, you're really going to be able to save a lot of time in your workflow. And I'll put a link to that course below this video.